For almost a month now, millions of Muslims have been fasting as part of the holy month of Ramadan. They abstain from eating during daylight hours and break their fast when the sun is set. The Federation of Muslim Organisations organised an iftar or fast-breaking event for all faiths at the St Philip Centre in Leicester. A number of high-profile guests and community leaders attended, including Ibrahim Mogra from the Muslim Council of Britain and Tim Stevens, the Bishop of Leicester. This shows that Leicester is a diverse, multi-faith, multicultural society where our non-Muslim brothers and sisters are delighted for us in this blessed month of Ramadan and have been able to share food with us. And this shows the hospitality of the Muslim community through the Federation of Muslim Organizations and its various partners. We've been able to uh, share lovely food together, lovely company. You can see people chatting along, getting along, networking. I think this is what uh, we need to do more of. I'm sure it helps build understanding, uh, build friendship. That takes a long time. I think um, this is uh, uh, a, a long process and it's hard work, but we need to keep at it because this is what makes Leicester rightly have a reputation for good relationships and reduce Islamophobia, reduce prejudice and reduce suspicion of people who are different. I'm quite keen to raise this issue. The Leicester South MP John Ashworth decided to fast for one day to learn more about Islam. He told Pukar News that next year he might do it for the entire month of Ramadan. Doing one day is not as f nearly enough to really understand it. I, I, I accept that. But I think I will learn a lot nonetheless. And um, who knows, maybe next year I'll do, do the whole 30 days, but I'll just try and do the day uh, this time. I mean, I did think about whether people would, would take it the wrong way or see it as a publicity stunt, but I think at the end of the day, it's important that I as an MP who represents such a diverse community gets to really understand uh, you know, some of the experiences that members of the community go through, which is why I'm going to fast today. I think people can only understand the process when you've actually been through the process because you can look outside in but if you're part of the process you have more of an understanding of the sacrifices that are made throughout the day. For Muslims fasting is an essential requirement of their faith however children the sick and the elderly and anyone who would be putting their health at risk by fasting are not obliged to do so. It also means refraining from evil actions thoughts and words. Thank you. Bye. The following morning, John Ashworth is back in his office. Public meeting, yeah, probably at the St Philip Centre in September, but I said we'll go back to it after Ramadan. Usually by now, he would have had breakfast and a coffee. So how is he coping? Well, I'm doing OK, uh, although I walked past one of the coffee shops in Leicester this morning on the way into the office, and I really wanted to go in and get myself a cappuccino, but I resisted. Um, I'm really quite thirsty. I'm not hungry yet, but I'm quite thirsty, but I'm doing OK. I've come into the office today, I'm getting on with work, dealing with all the issues, you know, unemployment's gone up again, there's issues around crime, constituents have been to see me, so I'm keeping myself busy and trying not to think about the fact that I've not had a cup of coffee today. The festival of Eid marks the end of Ramadan. It's a celebration, a time for thanksgiving and prayers and a time for exchanging gifts with family and friends.